Regional bank shares are jumping this morning. A little stability after Western Alliance said that deposits actually grew by more than $2 billion as of last week. Bank executives, of course, testified on Capitol Hill yesterday, avoiding taking any responsibility for the failures of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. Uh, they claimed panicked depositors are to blame for the collapse. Former SVB CEO Greg Becker said that he was unaware of the bank's problems when he sold stock weeks before the company actually failed, Ryan. Yeah, I mean, come on, give me a break, right? I mean, obviously, the big mistake there was risk management and to be infallible in a situation where they put all the money into long-term treasury bonds. I mean, look, I have to think about risk management all the time. I'm the fastest growing wealth management firms in the country. And my whole career, interest rates went down, but we always thought about what happens when interest rates go up. That's why we never owned bond funds. We never owned a long-term bond portfolio for that reason alone. So for, for a banker not to manage risk, yeah. um, it's clearly his fault. And clearly selling literally February 27th, right before the banks collapse, uh, is a real problem. Well, I mean, opinion. what about the fact that the Federal Reserve kept interest rates at zero for 15 years and then decided to raise them in an 11-month period? Look, I know you've been real bullish. You've been right. And that's great. Uh, a lot of people are on the other side of that trade, but you yes. keep sticking to your guns. What's your take on the fact that this credit crunch is now fueling a bankruptcy rush? Seven companies went bankrupt in a 48-hour period just last week. So you're seeing this interest rate impact impact more than just SVB. Yes, but to some extent, we're, we're kind of cleaning out any of the bad companies quickly. And I'm not actually opposed to that, because the bottom line is, look, look at earnings last quarter. They were only down 3%. We thought they were going to be down 9%. So clearly, companies in general, even with higher interest rates, even with the economy slowing, are doing a really good navigating their margins. And revenue was up 4% last quarter. So yes, you have some bad companies out there that were affected by interest rates. But overall, the bigger picture is companies are doing relatively well. Okay. I feel bad for the pessimists. Yeah, Vice Media LLC, Envision Healthcare, among the at least yeah. seven companies filing for US Chapter 11 bankruptcy in a 24 hour period. Vice is a horrible company. It's been a horrible company for years. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're not blaming rates on that one. Yes. Uh, yeah.
So if there is any forward-looking uh, trajectory here, the economy does seem to be slowing. It's a great time for the Fed to pause. I hone in on New York Fed President Williams yesterday. He said explicitly, we need to gather information, we need to analyze that information, and we need to see where the economy is heading. Yeah, and part of that information <laughs> yeah. is seven companies just declared bankruptcy in a 48-hour period. So, I mean, my question to you is, how bad will the macro story get before the Fed figures out it's time to pause? Well, I mean, that, that's the question. We're, we're already seeing the cracks. You know, we, we've written a lot about mark-to-market. We heard that a lot yesterday with Silicon Valley Bank, the ALCO Committee, Asset Liability Management, buying of treasuries over time. How do you manage your balance sheet? Uh, any bank CEO uh, needs to understand interest rate risk management. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a fundamental I mean, principle. It's so crazy that when the yeah. Fed did the stress tests, there wasn't any stress test about the possibility of rate spiking. Hello? Yeah, and to have 98 or 90 percent of your deposits uninsured, like, give me a break. Like, these things, like, very common sense, uh, you know, issues that you think that they would be able to address. But I, but I think, look, where the Fed's done a good job, and you got to give the Fed some credit, is long-term expectations about inflation are low. The 10-year Treasury's really anchored at 3.5%. If you look at longer-term expectations for inflation, it's, it's like closer to 2.5%. Yeah, but right now, the inflation rate is nowhere near the Fed's target. But I the mean, market cares where we're going. Yeah, sure. okay. We're, we're yeah. P PCE, core PCE, is still 4.5%. Exactly. And, that, and yeah. that's the challenge. I think the other challenge, too, Maria, you're seeing this explosion in money market accounts, right? Mm. So deposits are fleeing to money market accounts. The Fed has their reverse repo facility. They're paying north of 5%. Wow. Why not ride with the Fed at north of 5 percent versus keeping your money in the bank at zero. So yeah, my, no my, wonder people are taking money out of yeah. deposit accounts. So yeah, the higher they go. go, I think the worse the situation gets. So okay. I think a pause and a hold is probably the most prudent thing. All right, we'll leave yeah. it there. Ryan Payne, great to see you. you. Greg Farinello, great to see you. Always a pleasure, gentlemen. Thank you.